Welcome back to Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto in the Soapberry Shop World Gymnastics Challenge. Vitaly Sherbo, six gold medals at the Olympic Games, the world champion, and you go down to defeat for the first time since Barcelona. Tell us how you're feeling about the defeat. How I'm feeling? It's very hard to explain this feeling. Of course, I'm very upset and uh, very upset that it's, it was not my fault. I don't know what's wrong with my grips, with uh, high bar. But, you know, before high bar, I thought that it will be okay. But, you know, luck turned off from me. Yuri Keki, the all-around champion here in Toronto, and Yuri has to be a great moment in your career. You knock off the world champion in Vitaly Sherbo, first time he's lost since Barcelona. How are you feeling about that and about your performance here? Uh, well, uh, I'm very, very happy, normally very happy to uh, have win this competition because uh, Vitaly Sherbo, you know, uh, is the best gymnast now. Uh, and I, after uh, and before uh, Olympic Games, nobody uh, beat uh, Vitaly Sherbo. So maybe I'm the first and I, I'm so, so happy. It's like a dream for me, yeah. Gina, this was a very strong international field, and yet you came out the winner. Uh, you were very consistent throughout the competition. What allowed you to be victorious here in Toronto against this very difficult field? M-am simțit foarte bine, m-a atras și publicul foarte mult, m-au încurajat foarte mult și este prima mea competiție de la Birmingham internațională care până acum am fost accidentată. Oh, after Birmingham, I was a little bit um, accidentally. She had a, a little incident on her ankle. Uh, I was very encouraged by the crowd. I like very much the crowd here in Toronto. It's my first, uh, my very first big competition after Birmingham. So everything here helped me to, to win. An excited Stella Ume, fourth overall here at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Stella, you told me before the competition that you didn't feel that well. You sure look good. You won the uneven bars. Uh, Tell us about your performance. Um, it felt really good going into bars. I was like, wow, because I was pretty scared for bars because I'd been screwing it up for weeks. And it just came out of nowhere, and I was really psyched. What was it like to compete here at Maple Leaf Gardens? The crowd was obviously on your side. You could hear them all the way through, and you seemed to play to that. Um, I had a really awesome time playing to my, my friends and my family because everybody was cheering and screaming, and I was like, oh, this is so riveting. It, I really like a lot of noise and crowd support, so it was big help. An important year for you, an important season as you build towards the Commonwealth Games. Do you take heart from this performance at the beginning of the season? Um, yeah, this is a very important competition because it was my first meet of the year, and now I, I can build on what I want the rest of the year to go, or how I want it to go. And it was it was really important for me to compete at home and, and do as best as I possibly could. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, the best international gymnasts have come and gone. They're tearing down here at Maple Leaf Gardens, getting ready for hockey, perhaps. Uh, but, Elfie, this has been a landmark gymnastics meet for Canada. The best internationals here for the first time in more than a decade. It's also a watershed in another way. Vitaly Sherbo, the world champion, Olympic champion, goes down for the first time since Barcelona. But what's that mean in the big picture? Well, what it means simply is a world champion and an Olympic champion can be beaten. Unfortunately, Vitaly Sherbo didn't want this to happen. If you think he's happy about it, he certainly is not. I think the world was waiting to see when his first defeat would happen, and unfortunately it happened here in Toronto. He's had some problems. He's been under the gun, problems with his federation. I think a little bit of that pressure came through this evening. Gina Gojan of Romania wins the women's competition, but a great performance by Stella Ume. She really rose to the occasion. Oh, she did. She rose to the occasion, and then Stella said she was looking forward to competing in front of the home town crowd she was in fine company and uh, she certainly did her job uh, she's determined to win the Commonwealth Games next year all right Alfie let's hope international gymnastics is back in Canada to stay coming up tonight on CBC it's Molson hockey night in Canada Pittsburgh and Montreal to face the Canadians the Leafs at Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton to take on the Oilers that's at 8 p.m. Eastern it's been an outstanding world gymnastics challenge for Alfie Schlegel I'm Scott Russell saying so long from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto <laughs>